May 20. My darling Varinka, I send you a few grapes, my love. I am told they are good for a convalescent, and the doctor recommends them for quenching the thirst, simply for thirst. You were longing the other day for a few roses, my darling, so I am sending you some now. Have you any appetite, my love? That is the most important thing. Thank God, though, that it is all over and done with, and that our troubles, too, will soon be at an end. We must give thanks to heaven. As for books, I cannot get hold of them anywhere for the moment. I am told there is a good book here, written in very fine language. They say it is good. I have not read it myself, but it is very much praised here. I have asked for it, and they have promised to lend it me. Only will you read it? You are so hard to please in that line. It is difficult to satisfy your taste. I know that already, my darling. No doubt you want poetry, inspiration, lyrics. Well, I will get poems, too. I will get anything. There is a manuscript book full of extracts here. I am getting on very well. Please don't be uneasy about me, my dearie. What Fedora told you about me is all nonsense. You tell her that she told a lie. Be sure to tell her so, the wicked gossip. I have not sold my new uniform. And why should I? Judge for yourself. Why should I sell it? Here I am told I have forty roubles bonus coming to me, so why should I sell it? Don't you worry, my precious. She's suspicious, your fedora, she's suspicious. We shall get on splendidly, my darling. Only you get well, my angel, for God's sake get well. Don't grieve your old friend. Who told you I had grown thin? It is slander, slander again. I am well and hearty and getting so fat that I am quite ashamed. I am well fed and well content. The only thing is for you to get strong again. Come, goodbye, my angel. I kiss your little fingers and remain always your faithful friend, Makar Theovushkin. P.S. Ah, my love, what do you mean by writing like that again? What nonsense you talk! Why, how can I come and see you so often, my precious? I ask you, how can I? Perhaps snatching a chance after dark, but there, there's scarcely any night at all now at this season. As it was, my angel, I scarcely left you at all while you were ill, while you were unconscious. But really, I don't know how I managed it all. And afterwards I gave up going to you, for people had begun to be inquisitive and to ask questions. There had been gossip going about here, even apart from that. I rely upon Teresa. She is not one to talk, but think for yourself, my darling, what a to-do there will be when they find out everything about us. They will imagine something, and what will they say then? So you must keep a brave heart, my darling, and wait until you are quite strong again, and then we will arrange a rendezvous somewhere out of doors.